Welcome back to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Karen Wyman, coming to you from Higher Ground on Ladies Island. I'm joined this afternoon by Henry Dreyer and Nick Price. Hey guys, how hey. are you? How you doing well? You guys are from Moss and Hatchet. Yes, ma'am, we sure are. And um, you're going to be opening an axe throwing venue here in Buford. Yep. Yeah. So tell me all about it. When I read this as I was prepping for the interview, I thought I've never heard of this before. So obviously I need to be educated and there may be some other people um, who are thinking the same thing. Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah. Well, you know, it started up north. Um, as it was kind of like a, a lumberjack thing, to be honest with you. Um, and people started to enjoy it more and more and started making a competition. And then the World Axe Throwing League put it together as kind of a um, like an organized situation and um, and venues started popping up and it's played a lot like darts you know you, instead of throwing a, a little dart at a dart board you throw a, an axe at a big wooden so board. So <laughs> like bowling you know are there different size axes and weights because obviously someone like me isn't going to be able to throw an axe you know with someone like your sort of height <laughs> and weight behind them. Sure <laughs> yeah there, there is some variance in, okay, in, in good the axes to know. for sure yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that I don't know if this is something I could do but um, so what can a typical person who is going to come to Moss and Hatchet what can they expect? Sure um, well as soon as you walk in our goal is to greet you at our front desk get all the waivers get all the paperwork signed yeah, waivers are good want, things, yeah, right? Yeah, if you want yeah. any sort of refreshments, <laughs> soda, water, whatever. And then what we'll do is then have a coach meet you and walk you back to the lane area, teach you how to throw, and then oversee the throwing from there. Wow, pretty cool. And so um, is this something that the whole family could do? Yeah, so what we, what we plan to do is on Saturdays and Sundays from uh, about 10 to 3, uh, we're going to have family hours. So you can you know, bring your whole family, as long as you know, adults and, and guardians are with children, <laughs> right, for sure. Um, and, and yeah, we, we hope to make it a really fun family thing, you know, at least for those hours, but, but to keep the evening hours for, you know, adults that want to come out and have a night away from the kids, maybe. Great. Um, and so you mentioned earlier when we started, um, what is the World Axe Throwing League? Um, so yeah, the, the World Axe Throwing League is, um, it's an organization that, that really kind of organized axe throwing into uh, the big thing that it is today, kind of standardize the rules mm -hmm. and, and, you know, regulations for it. And um, they just had their world championships were aired on ESPN in December. And uh, we are, we're proud to be a, an affiliate uh, with the World Axe Throwing League and hope to bring some of that competition to Buford. Cool. So um, what made you decide to come here to Buford to open this venue? Well, we're actually both locals here in Buford. We live here. I live right on the edge of Port Royal. Henry lives out here on Ladies Island. So this was just home for us right. now. Um, and I had gone and thrown for my birthday in Atlanta. And I think that's kind of what planted the yeah, seed yeah. initially. Like this would be a cool thing to have in that, Buford. Yeah, and that Buford needed a little bit more recreation. Yeah. And that we could provide that. Awesome, that's great. So um, tell us about the location. I know that we talked a little bit about this or I overheard you um, off camera. So people who are not quite sure where the new venue is going to be and a little bit about the time frame. If you can. Sure. So um, 303 Associates is they're redoing the old Kmart building on Boundary mm -hmm. Street. Um, and so we were lucky enough to get a space um, in that kind of redevelopment there. Um, and we're hoping we're hoping that everything's going to be done around springtime. But, um, you know, just be patient with us as, as we kind of wait on contractors and development. But we're, we're really hoping for springtime. Awesome. Then that building is um, some other um, businesses that are also going to be moving into there. So there's mm -hmm. some really nice development that's going to happen yeah, there absolutely. for um, other local, um, you know, businesses that are either moving into or expanding I into that space. Yes, um, so but tell us a little bit um, about your model of axe throwing. Obviously, there's more than one. So I'm, I'm really ill-informed here. <laughs> sure. Um, you mean like how you actually throw? Yeah, like or what's the, tell us about the, mo um, the model axe throwing it or about moss and hatchet. Is there something okay. different about it? Um, well, we hope to be like a high quality um, axe throwing experience. We want you to feel like um, when you come out to moss and hatchet that, um, that you're coming out to a, a really, I wouldn't say fancy, but just a good high quality mm -hmm. experience. Um, you know, we don't, we don't want you throwing at plywood, you know what I mean? I mean, and, and some of that goes along with the World Axe Learning League regulations, mm -hmm. but. Um, just meet higher quality of standards. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good, is alcohol involved in this? <laughs> Um, so there, there may be some beer and wine sales, um, but you know, you'll have to be an actual throwing 
participant in, in order to purchase any refreshment. So, Got it, right. Yeah. So we want people in good condition. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Exactly. Awesome. Yeah. Safety, safety, and safety. And our coaches will be on the lookout. Yeah. Absolutely. I got it. So yeah, that was certainly one of my one of my things. We can, you can do that and then go somewhere else for an adult beverage, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, Guys, thank you so much. Best of luck to you. This is really exciting for Buford. So thank you so much well, for being a guest yeah. this afternoon Thanks. on North of the Broad. We appreciate it. Awesome. We'll be right back with our next guest on North of the Broad.